Hello, myself Purva Mahale from IMAC Medentech. Welcome to IMAC Medentech's Infection Control Program. In this video, we will learn about cleaning and disinfection of medical instruments. Medical or surgical instruments also contribute to the spread of infection if not disinfected properly before every use. To define the disinfection strategies, the medical devices are classified into three categories which are non-critical medical devices which come in contact with the intact skin of the patient, semi-critical medical devices which come in contact with the mucous membrane or intact skin of the patient, the critical medical devices which come in contact with sterile body cavity or vascular system of the patient. The level of disinfection for medical instrument depends on the category of the medical devices. The non-critical instruments require low level of disinfection as it comes in contact with only the intact skin of the patient which is already a barrier for the pathogens. The examples of non-critical instruments is the blood pressure cuffs, stethoscopes, electrocardiogram leads etc. The semi-critical instruments require intermediate to high level of disinfection depending upon its use. As these instruments come in contact with only the mucous membrane, intermediate to high level of disinfection is enough for proper disinfection of these instruments. The example of semi-critical instruments is respiratory therapy and anesthetic equipment, flexible endoscopes, vaginal specula, dental instruments that are only used for opening of the mouth or reusable bedpans and patient bowls etc. Critical instruments require high level of disinfection or sterilization as they come in contact with the sterile tissues of body. For instruments which are heat labile and cannot sustain the heat, high level of disinfection with the use of some chemicals is recommended. Examples of critical instruments is surgical devices, implants, urinary catheters, cardiac catheters, needles, syringes, bronchoscopes, cystoscopes, etc. The instrument disinfection process starts with decontamination and the decontamination life cycle proceeds as cleaning, disinfection, inspection, packaging, sterilization, transport, storage, use and again safe transport for cleaning. Pre-cleaning is the step where the bio burden of instruments is reduced with the help of multi-enzyme or detergents. In multi-enzyme, protease, lipase, amylase or cellulase enzyme are used. This will inactivate the proteins, lipids or fats or starch and cellulose from the instrument. This helps in reducing the bio burden and organic debris or the cellular material or the blood components present on the instrument. It also contains some non-ionic surfactants, chelating agents, rust inhibitors, pH regulators and stabilizers which will help to disinfect the instruments properly. After pre-cleaning, the instruments are taken for disinfection. For example, we will see endoscope reprocessing. The first step of endoscope reprocessing is pre-cleaning where the bio burden is reduced and the organic material or the soil from the endoscope is reduced. Next step is the leak test. For proper functioning of the endoscope, it is tested for any leakages. Next is the manual clean where the endoscope is dismantled and every part is manually cleaned with detergent or enzymatic cleaners. Next, we have to rinse and dry the endoscope to remove the detergent or the residual debris from the endoscope. After pre-cleaning, the next step is high level disinfection in which the endoscope is immersed in the high level disinfection according to the reprocessing instructions. After high level disinfection, the next step is rinsing with sterile water for removal of residual debris or any residues of disinfectants if any. After rinsing, 
Next step is drying of the endoscope with 70% isopropyl alcohol which is a dehydrating agent. If any moisture or water content remains in the endoscope, it facilitates the growth of microorganisms. Hence, drying is an important step. After proper disinfection and drying of the endoscope, it is stored with proper protocols to avoid any further contamination. A solution provided for high level disinfection for endoscope reprocessing is Cytaltake OPA. The chemical composition of which is orthothalaldehyde and the contact time required is 12 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius. And it has a broad spectrum microbial efficiency as it is bactericidal, fungicidal, yeasticidal and virucidal. It is also used for automatic endoscope reprocessing. IMAC also provides an aldehyde free surgical instrument disinfectant that is Cidal take ID50. Chemically, it is a tertiary amine based disinfectant which can be used for surgical instrument disinfection as well as RO membrane disinfectant. For pre cleaning, the contact time is 15 minutes. For instrument disinfection, the recommended contact time is 60 minutes. While for RO membrane disinfection, it is to be flushed through the RO membrane for 40 to 45 minutes. It also has a broad spectrum of microbial efficacy as it is bactericidal, fungicidal, yeasticidal, sporicidal and virucidal. Thank you.